Member for Victoria Beacon Hill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and through you, thank you to the member uh, for Lake Country as well. I also rise today, I rise to recognize Trans Awareness Week, a time to celebrate and honour two-spirit, trans, non-binary, and gender-diverse people here in our province. I recognize trans friends and neighbours who serve as community builders, leaders, and organisers, academics, business owners, healthcare providers, and public servants. I recognize the incredible work of organizations by, for, and with trans folks, including community, Rainbow Refugee, Trans Care BC, and Pride Societies around the province. Under the leadership of Aaron, uh, Dr. Aaron DeVore, the Transgender Archives at the University of Victoria is celebrating their 10th year anniversary and committed to the preservation of the history of activists and leaders. Mr. Speaker, Two-spirit trans and non-binary people are amazing, and I am proud to stand in this house as an ally. And to the trans kids in our province, I see you, and you matter, and you belong here. The week ends with Transgender Day of Remembrance, and while we take steps together towards safety and inclusivity, there is still violence against trans people, there are still barriers and exclusions, and there is still transphobia. And around the world, including here in Canada, laws that target trans individuals' right to life and safety and dignity and respect continue to be introduced, debated, and passed. Yet in the face of these attacks, we see great resilience in the 2S LGBTQ community. And while we should all celebrate that resilience, it is also our responsibility to do the work to create a province and a world that is more inclusive of and safer for trans people. I pause this week to remember the lives lost and to stand vigilant against the ongoing threat to my trans colleagues, peers, friends, and neighbours, and to celebrate the difference they make in every corner of our province. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.